Hi, welcome to a new video dedicated to the new FPV goggles. The huge model, the uh, Skyzen SGV01. So already start uh, and done an unboxing video and are showing the different quality of the images. So this model is including a diversity system, a 722-inch uh, screen immersion, well, the feeling of a 72-inch FPV screen, and um, it got a 40-channel uh, uh, 500Hz internal uh, video receiver, so supporting the raised band. It's pretty light, uh, less than 500 grams. And uh, this video is dedicated to show uh, the AV out, the AV in, and also the HDMI. And, and the last part that uh, my modification I did on it to uh, install a small DVR. So let's start with the AV in and AV out testing. So first of all, you will need this cable. Okay, you have uh, the simple one. Okay, this one. Uh, which is only powering your goggles and you will need either this kind of battery ending with this power connector or and I regret the absence you will need such cable and directly uh, solar your favorite connector here I install a more uh, GST connector so I will uh, use this one and for this one you still retrieve the uh, power in a connector I will connect my external wires and this is the uh, RCA uh, cinch connector so this one can be used either for AV out or AV in so let's start in the AV out configuration so I will power the uh, goggles okay and by default when you are in RF mode uh, this uh, mo uh, wires are used in AV out so I will connect them into uh, my FPV monitors plug in have in of this one so I will receive the signal from my uh, goggles so let's connect it okay if I want to connect the sound also left and right and I will use this small camera okay let's assume it I will power it okay and I will power my FPV uh, transmitter so for this one I will select the uh, have in source Okay, so I have in Avin and the signal is a sent by Google is working perfectly. Okay, no problem if you want. Uh, is so the signal is perfectly visible from the Ave out. Now let's do the inverse. We will um, send the video signal received, for example, from these Googles to the, our goal. Uh, this FPV monitor to how goggles. So what we need, first of all, we will need to change to add the out of the FPV monitors, okay, like this. And uh, actually, I will select on my FPV goggles, I hope you will be able to see, the AV in, okay, so the I hope you can see the AV in. Actually, no signal is received until I will match the correct frequency. So I will select now the uh, main source. Okay, that's correct. And now, as you can see, the AV in is perfectly uh, uh, receiving the signal. I hope you can see on top left AV in. So uh, it's working perfectly. Great. Um, Okay, and now I will show that the quality of the HDMI. So I will uh, disconnect everything here. And disconnect my video transmitter. And I will uh, use my HDMI cable here. Okay, so you will need, for example, a micro HDMI to connect to your goggles and connect to your lateral side. This uh, one, okay. So let's say like this, and uh, be aware, uh, this one is a stereo headphone output, okay? So now I will select the HDMI, I hope you can see on top right, yes. And I will connect uh, this uh, uh, cable to my computer as HDMI source, yes, for example, okay, like this. And where is my HDMI input in my computer? 
okay? And I should okay. I will reconnect my FPV Googles and as you can see now is working the image app is appearing on the screen and I will play this video for example in the wide screen no problem at all hope you can see so the HDMI is working perfectly the image is crisp is very very good so everything is working from um, HDMI, AVE in, AVE out okay ah, it's pretty pretty good Okay, so now I will make another testing. Okay, I will disconnect a few seconds my uh, FPV Googles. Okay, disconnect the HDMI, I won't use it anymore. Okay, and I will show that on my front I mod it to uh, uh, install a uh, a DVR, so I will show some photos and small video of how I proceed. And I install the uh, pretty cheap uh, HM DVR. Okay, so now if I want to install, I just need to connect with this uh, five position uh, 1.25 mini GST connector here. And voila. So now if I, I will change the uh, uh, power cable. I don't need of this one. I just need the basic one. Okay, to show you that is where everything is working. So I will connect my uh, this one. Connect here. Okay, so it's a simple one, pretty light, and one I will power it. Okay, you can see that. Uh, the DVR is correctly powered because I install inside the DVR a voltage regulator to output 5 volts for my DVR. And now, if I install a power source, let's say, okay, this video transmitter. Okay, you can, I hope you can see the signal. Yeah, I will press recording by the key one button. And it's recording, you can see the LEDs flashing. No problem. Okay. Um, time to time with this model, I've got some uh, small uh, interferences appearing, so be sure to secure everything. Okay, to, because it can be sensitive. Recording again. Working fine. Okay, and to stop recording, press again. And I will show that it's possible also to uh, see the uh, replay of feedback because I uh, connect the five wire, which is the AVE out of the uh, DVR module. Okay, so uh, I will press this um, uh, AVE, I will select the AVE in. Okay, and now I hope you can see there is a menu. I will press the uh, long press the K2 menu, and you should see here the uh, uh, menu of the uh, DVR. Okay, like this, so it's working pretty well. And if I want, uh, I will exit. I will enter in the playback mode and replay this video for example. Okay, I don't know if it's working or not. Let's say this one. Okay, so I can navigate. 
Okay, so it's working perfectly. So I can now record my FPV flight thanks to this modding. I hope it was more or less clear. I will give all the scheme and how to proceed to install on your favorite Google's this small um, DVR. It's not very hard. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.